Muchachos y muchachas. Art. Yes, art. That type of subject that has been brought up on this channel quite a bit. Uh, we've seen it with the Balenciaga scandal uh, where there were books of art in the background in one of their um, whole scenes. If you guys are interested in that, there are plenty of videos on this channel about that. But that's not what we're talking about today. There was an exhibition in Paris at the Palais de Tokyo that exhibited some art that is very concerning because the art community is saying, hey, um, it's all right. It's being interpreted wrong. Where there was a director of the FVD, FVD International. His name is John Laughlin. He got on camera and he said it like it was. I'm very concerned about this exhibition and the guards are coming up on me. They won't let me film, um, but this is absolutely debaucherous and it should not be shown. And I agree. And after you guys get an idea of what he was seeing, you guys will see what I'm talking about. With that being said, hold on to your butts, secure your wigs, stay right there. We're going to go through it. All right, so let's show this video pretty immediately. Um, this is, uh, again, the FVD director, John Laughlin, who was at this exhibition in Paris, uh, an art exhibition, and he basically was in the gallery. He shot this video and he was like, listen, guys, this is like, this is wild. Okay. For him, he was like, this is wild. This should not be here. They won't even let me film. I'm going to let you see it. But just know that uh, there are th th there are shots of the art that I do for multiple reasons I cannot show. So I'm going to come uh, just play his voice, and um, but you'll you'll still hear what he's trying to say. But I have to cut out the art. But I will show you an example at the end of this clip. It's John Lockland. I'm the director of FVD International. I'm speaking to you from the Palais de Tokyo in Paris. Behind me, you can see an exhibition space. I'm not allowed to film in there. I started to film, and the guards told me I had to stop. The reason is that there's a painting in there which shows two children uh, with their hands tied behind their backs being forced to perform on a grown man. It's an example of the banalization of The French judicial authorities have recently said that this painting should stay even though an appeal was made against the museum by an organization defending the rights of children. In the name of free expression, therefore, something is now hanging in the public space in Paris which is designed to banalize the worst forms of sadistic pedophilia. FVD demands that this stop, both in the Netherlands, both in France, and indeed all across the world. So isn't that incredible that guards were trying, I mean, I get it. It's an art gallery and all that, but they're trying to like, you can't film in here. Uh, the art council or whoever the heck governs the art world or whatever. I don't know how that structure or hierarchy uh, works out, but they basically approve, like you have to think about the entire process. Okay. And I'm not in art. I don't know what that looks like, but I just generically with processes, you have to go through approval, you know, scouting approval, um, you know, contracts, all these things, waivers, blah, 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 blah. All that went through the process and they said, yep, this passes, this flies. Let's just depict these horrific scenes of little ones, you know, being, you know what? So this is one of the, this is one of the examples. And I had to really block this out for obvious reasons once again, but I get, I, I, I can assure you that I'm sure you guys get the picture. You guys know what is being depicted here. Grown dude. Um, smaller people on the floor and amongst the acts that are being committed here, which are egregious, horrific, appalling. On top of that is one of the most concerning pieces out of all of that is the, the, the little one's hands are being bound by, I can't even get it out. The little one's hands are being bound behind his back or his back, her back, whatever it is. Okay. And there's two of those. There's two of those little beings in that art piece. And the thing that is so concerning is the fact that the art world still finds this defense over this. Like, oh, it was you guys that got it wrong. Oh, you guys just don't know how to interpret art. Oh, I'm sorry. As peasants that just see things for what it is, don't know how to interpret things 
the way you see it, which is sick. Let me show you this article from artnews.com, <laughs> which are trying to like really trying to have the back out of the artist, in my opinion. Marianne Kahn, painting in Paris about war crimes in Ukraine draws controversy after being mistaken for the fans of the playground word. Okay, this is what they have to say. A painting by Swiss artist Miriam Khan went viral this past weekend after many on social media misconstrued it. <laughs> you guys see that? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Alex Greenberger? Excuse me, sir, young man. No, sir. Misconstrued it? We saw it for what it was. This was a straight up depiction of a dude with the younger, like, if you want to talk about war crimes, okay, fine. But you don't have to display it in art. In art form. You know what I mean? For, for the upper echelons who, who wander these galleries to gander at and marvel at. This is nothing to marvel over. But we misconstrued it. So many on social media misconstrued it for an image of a you-know-what act between those two. The work titled, yes, F Abstraction, that's the title of this whole thing, was one of 200 on view in Khan's current exhibition at Paris's Palais de Tokyo, Palais de Tokyo, one of her biggest shows to date. The survey followed her appearance in the Venice Biennale, 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 the summer, sorry. Khan's work has regularly offered images of violence that provoke discomfort in viewers with past paintings graphically depicting our words and uh, that act as feminist critiques of the patriarchy. Girl! <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All these little buzzwords right here, dude. Like, um, honestly, this is where we're at in society right now. We have to, like, pour and sprinkle all these little literary flowers with buzzwords to help the reader understand what they're looking at. You guys understand what kind of psychological operation this type of thing is? Feminist critiques of the patriarchy and the misuses of power. And yes, that is a misuse of power. I do agree with that. She also censors wars in Bosnia, Gulf, and elsewhere, often focusing her attention on people who are violated by those conflicts uh, uh, perpetrators. Yet, F Abstraction, the title of that debaucherous piece that I showed you guys, uh, which was intended as a protest against human rights crimes against the people of Ukraine. Okay. Um, as an artist, you probably should have depicted you, that idea a lot better, and you could have done it without showing that horrifying scene of a child, uh, of a crime against a child. I'm just going to say that. Okay, so there are a few other things in this article. Let's take a look at this. Um, so there was a French talk show host by the name of Carl Zero who actually posted this on Twitter. And uh, he said that uh, he's calling this a certain crime and posted a picture of the work of the, what we just overviewed, calling it intolerable, which we all agree. In a follow-up tweet, he said, school groups are visiting the exhibition. Imagine the children's questions when faced with this painting, which I agree. I mean, you bring children on field trips to these art galleries, and then a kid looks up and sees this like indescribable scene that the parent there, like, how do you describe that? So I found it interesting that the artist Miriam Khan actually had a statement and she said, these are not children. This painting deals with how sexuality is used as a weapon of war, as a crime against humanity. So I think that that is wild that she's saying that these are not children. So what are they? These are not children. All of a sudden they're not children. Um, the contrast between two people shows the power of the oppressor and the underdog kneeling and oppressed during war. That's what she said this is. Okay, so it's not, she's saying it's not children. That's what the artist says. Maybe because she, I don't know, maybe she received so much backlash, she was like, uh oh. Anyway, what I also want to say is, okay, and he describes the painting. We already, you guys know that, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, basically she's saying, oh, this depicts, you know, the crimes that are happening in Ukraine due to the war. Okay. And see, here's the thing too, like 
we don't know exactly what's going on in Ukraine. Like the media will tell us one thing about what's going on in Ukraine, but we don't know exactly. Oh, it just fuzzed out. Come back. Okay. We don't know what's going on in Ukraine. Like, we don't know if people who say that they are, are really who they are. I'm just going to say that. And if they're not, if they are uh, the perpetrators in all this, I'm going to let you guys just kind of simmer on that. But if you're trying to depict the, 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 hor- the horrific things that are going on in your country during wartime, this is not the way to do it. Okay. You can even... As an artist, you could probably depict that as a different way. I'm sure with an artist's mind, you're creative. You can think of other ways you can do that. But depicting it this way for, um, you know, the art societies of our world to marvel at. It's just not right. Something else I'd like to add as commentary is I'm not quite sure if this is a Kim Noble type of situation. So if you guys know there's an artist named Kim Noble, I will let you go Google her art for yourself. But basically it looks similar to this. It looks very egregious. A lot of crimes are being committed. Uh, Now, Kim Noble is an actual survivor from all of that stuff. And so her reasons and depictions of what she paints is stuff that happened to her as a child. Uh, things that she's seen as a child. And so with that, like, I, I understand that type, that type of thing where it's like, look, this is what's happened. This is how I'm coping with the trauma. However, I did search Miriam Khan and any, uh, said traumas that she's had as a child. Um, I'm just going to say like, I hope that the, that all this stuff didn't happen to her. Now they did say that this is depicting war crimes in Ukraine. This is her reason for the painting. Okay, so she said that she did not give reason that this is something that she personally experienced as a child in that then, you know, I I sincerely I do give my empathy for those artists that do depict that just to communicate out what actually happens, what has happened to them. So I just want to make that statement. But this right now doesn't seem to be so because her reason was stated as differently. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd bring that up to your attention. I don't even know what else to say. This is horrible. And just the fact that the art community is like, you interpreted it wrong is just such a pompous take in all this. Okay, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you guys in another video. Bye-bye.